another freeze-drying and rehydrating experiment. The Pillsbury Crescents, except for I'm not going to roll them up because I think that would not be the best test. So I want to try half of them cooked flat and half of them raw. And then I'll rehydrate them and cook them afterwards and see which way works. If anything. Gonna, that'll be my first test. So I'll cook one pan of them. I'll freeze the other pan just like it is and do some experimenting with them after they're freeze dried. Those look good. All right, I can put those all in the, in the freezer on one tray. So that's going in the freezer for pre-freezing. Okay, and I get this in there, and that can pre-freeze. Luck. We'll see how those go. I think these will be interesting. Paste picante sauce and the Pillsbury rolls. So open the valve and let the air in. Oh. These are the freeze-dried Pillsbury Rolls, raw and cooked. Okay, the Pillsbury Rolls are out and dry, and the raw ones puffed up like crazy. So I have a feeling they're not going to rehydrate and, and cook like I was hoping. I thought they'd stay flat as can be. But the cooked ones, they don't look like they changed at all, except for dry as can be. Uh, and they stayed together. They, they didn't crack or anything. So these will be really interesting to rehydrate. See if they will rehydrate. And have a snack. Okay. So oh, those will be coming up soon. So continuing the experiment. So just going to wrap one in a damp paper towel again. And put it in the refrigerator for a while and see what happens and the other one is the cooked ones so i left them flat and baked them um, and it looks like they didn't really change after they were cooked so i'm going to do the same thing and wrap it with a wet paper towel and see how this goes So into the refrigerator and I'll check it in a few hours and see what happens with these. The other cooked ones, I think these come out delicious. So of course it's a dry piece, but it's nice and flaky. It's still got a lot of good structure to it. Tastes like a perfectly good Pillsbury dough material. You could use that for a sandwich. Pretty flaky sandwich. So I don't think you have to rehydrate these. These would be really good this way. Wow, those are yummy. Mm. I think I need a piece of cheese. Mm. All right, so a chunk of Gouda. Mm. So extremely flaky and crunchy, but it doesn't have to be rehydrated. That's good. Yep, that's very good. Mm. It's a little bit messy. But not so as you'd notice. Yeah. 
If you're camping, this would be fine because you're already outdoors, probably. Yeah, I already made one. Mistake. Unless you're trailer camping. Cheese, cheese down, cheese down. Mm. Oh, that's good. Wrap it in Boy. cheese. Yeah, it's a bit messy, but it's really delicious. All right. Well, we'll check back with the rehydrating ones and see how those do. So these are going in the refrigerator and check back with them later. So the Pillsbury things have been in the refrigerator for a number of hours. This is the raw one, just wrapped in a damp paper towel. And frankly, it doesn't feel like it really did anything. Maybe got a little soggy on the outside, but that's about it. So I don't think that that's a good choice. It is kind of doughy on the outside, so that's kind of what it should be. So yeah, there is a layer of doughiness on the outside, but it's not really working. And this one is the cooked one. And I put it in the microwave for about 25 seconds. And I think it's actually a little bit too wet. So I think I shouldn't have wrapped it and left it in there for the 25 second thing. But it looks like it worked better after it was cooked. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that worked out pretty well. You could do a, something with that, sandwich, roll, something. I would try this again. That I would keep it as a very small experiment. See if I can figure out how to make it work. I'm not even sure how I'd use it afterwards though. Whereas cooked makes more sense. So that worked out pretty well. Hmm. Want to try a bite of this? Sure. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything with the raw one. Okay. It uh, turned out as expected. Pretty much. I mean, it is a little bit little doughy bit layer on the outside, but the rest of it didn't do anything. It's a bit tough. It's dry. Yeah. It feels dry. Yeah, there's still a layer in between. Oh, that's quite good. But it's really good. I think I should have wrapped it in a dry paper towel before I put it in the microwave this yes. last bit. Yeah, I think that was Because the outside's a bit soggy. In fact, I could try that. Here, give it a... A 10 second burst, very well wrapped. I would do that more. Okay. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Yeah, the flaky okay. layers, and it's not just falling apart like it did when it was still dry. And now it's not so wet. So the last part of the rehydrating, uh, microwaved in a dry paper towel after it's been soaking for a while. That's pretty good. Still a little bit dry on the inside. Mm-hmm. But I don't that. have a problem with that. If you yeah. were going to use it for a sandwich, you could have a great sandwich yeah, with that. Yeah, slap some butter on it. Mm. Mm. Some tuna cheese. salad. Yeah, cheese. Okay.